Welcome to UAS Magazine's Top Headlines. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. The U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao picked one of the most popular electronics and technology showcases in the world to announce the FAA has now registered more than one million drones. At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Chao said the growth in drones reflects that they are now used as tools for commerce and trade, can save lives, assist in disasters, or detect hazards. As it always does, CES featured several new drone platforms, battery options, services, or other drone-related equipment from manufacturers and developers in the U.S. and China. Boeing's subsidiary in situ says it has successfully completed a flight demonstration of its ground-based system to improve UAS airspace situational awareness. The system can detect nearby aircraft flying within and beyond a drone operator's line of sight. The technology adds layers of safety for commercial UAS operations conducted beyond visual line of sight. The demonstration took place late last year at the Mississippi State University Raspit Flight Center. Sentara, a Minneapolis remote sensing company, has added elevation variance maps to its AgVault software platform for UAS Precision Agriculture, providing ad professionals with more field insight. Topography and elevation data increases operating efficiencies when building variable rate prescriptions for crops, creating drainage or land leveling plans, and designing subsurface drainage. Chris Paulson, Sentara's Vice President of Agriculture, says having elevation data in advance dramatically improves the chances of getting a project done right the first time. Thanks for tuning in. To view these stories in their entirety or for more news, features, or data details, visit uasmagazine.com. See you next time.